Walking down the road and what do you know? We spotted a broken curb so we downloaded our local 311 app that was made using WAG to report this incident. We'll go ahead and enter in all the information about the broken curb. The category field depends on whatever we selected in the category type. If we select something in the category that has a specific, another field will pop up under like so. In the Where tab, if we choose Street, a building number field will appear for us to enter. We're almost finished. The Submit tab shows us all the info we entered and once we're ready to submit, we hit the Submit button. The city will then be notified and have someone sent to fix the curb as soon as possible. Today we're going to be making a 311 app that utilizes some powerful features that can be added to any app. We'll start by creating a new app titled 311, then let's add a new form and title it complaint type. Let's start by adding a text field, title it complaint type, and save. We're done with that form, so let's close out and add a new form titled Complaint Category. In this form, we'll add a combo box titled Complaint Type, then select Complaint Category from the Type dropdown. Finally, we can check Complaint Type field, Search field, and put a 1 under Display Order. Next, we'll add a text field titled Category. Then we can add a list named Has Specifics with Yes and No under the values, and finally, make it required. Okay, we're done with this form. Let's close and create a new form titled Complaint Specific. First, we'll add a combo box titled Complaint Category. Check Category, Search Field, and put a 1 under Display Order. Our next field to add is a text field which we'll name Specifics. We're all done with this form, so let's close out and create the views. We'll click Add a New View, and in the drop down selection, we'll select Complaint Type. Let's title this view Complaint Types and select everything available and searchable. Let's create another view and title it Complaint Categories and select everything available again in the searchable. We'll create one more view, this one titled Complaint Specifics with Complaint Specifics selected in the drop down under the name and everything available in searchable selected again. Let's go back into our forms and add the last and main form we'll be working with titled Complaint. We'll click the Complaint tab and retitle it to Main. Let's now retitle the standard section to main as well. Perfect, now let's add a combo box titled Complaint Type and choose Complaint Type in the drop down type selection. We can then click the field, search field and put a 1 under display order. We'll then add another combo box, this one titled Complaint Category and choose Complaint Category in the drop down type selection. We can then click all the fields and make category the search field. Let's then number them in order and add a filter to complaint type that says equals complaint type. Once again, we'll add another combo box, this one titled complaint specific and check visibility control formula builder. In here, we'll add the following. This means that the combo box will only show if any particular category has specifics. Let's then choose complaint specific in the drop down type selection. 
Finally, let's check both fields, making specifics the search field and one in the display order. For the complaint category, we'll add the filter equals complaint category. Next, let's add a standard section titled tab visibility and check the visibility control toggle to false. In this section, we'll add a text field titled main tab disabled. We can then click the main tab and under allow users to click on tab, we'll click formula builder. In here, we click main tab disabled and enter the following Let's now add the button that will stop users from hitting the main tab once this button is clicked. We'll add an event that says on click set value and type true in the field. Great, now let's add another tab and title this one what. Let's quickly go back to our main tab and move our button up as well as adding an event that says on click go to tab and have it go to the what tab when clicked. We'll now go back to our what tab and add a text field titled complaint. Then let's click formula builder and add complaint type from the field selection. Our next field will be a text field titled Category. We'll click Formula Builder again and choose Complaint Category from the field selection. Let's add another text field titled Specific, then go to Formula Builder and choose Complaint Specific from the field selection. Now let's add a memo titled Description and make it required. Next, we'll add a date field titled Date Observed and make it required. Then let's add a text field titled Time Observed, make it required and use an input mask 99 colon 99. Let's now add the other tabs titled Where, Who and Submit. Okay, let's go back and add a document management section titled Media in the What tab. Finally comes our buttons for this tab. Let's add one that goes to the previous tab and add a button group name titled What Prev Next which will make the buttons appear in the same line. Finally, we'll make this one order number one. Now we'll add some events. First, on click, set value, main tab disabled, single quotation false, single quotation. Next, on click, go to tab main. Let's now add another button that goes to the next tab. We'll use the same button group name and make this one order number two. Okay, let's add a standard section now titled Tab Visibility 2 with a text field inside named What Tab Disabled. We can now add events to the button that goes to the next tab. First, we'll click On Click, Go to Tab, Where. Second, we'll select On Click, Set Value, What Tab Disabled, and Single Quotation True, Single Quotation. Let's now go to the Where tab and add a standard section titled Where. In this section, we'll add a required list field titled Address Type. Next, we'll add another required list field titled Neighborhood. We'll then add a required text field titled Building Number. And under Visibility Control Formula Builder, let's add the following This means that the address type list has to equal street for this list to show up. 
Okay, let's now add a required text field titled street name and add another text field titled apartment number. Then a memo field titled additional location info. Next, let's add the buttons and tab visibility like we did to the previous tab. We'll go to the Who tab and add a section titled Who. In this section, we'll start by adding a required text field titled Email Address. I'll go ahead and add the rest of the fields Button and Visibility much like our last tab. Finally, let's go to the Submit tab and add a standard section titled What? Colon. In here we'll add a complaint text field and make it calculated. Then we'll add complaint type under the field names. I'll go ahead and do the same to all the other fields. We're simply referencing to the previous fields from the other tabs so that they are automatically inputted into this form. On our submit button we'll add an event that says on click, save an email and add in the following info. Let's now exit and go to the views, add a new view, and make a view titled Complaints as the default view. We'll then check complaint type as the default search and a few others we want to see in the complaints view. Within minutes we've created a 311 app with some powerful features. This is just a brief demonstration of the capabilities of WAG and how it can save great amounts of time and money when creating mobile and desktop apps.